Hi everyone, and welcome to some retro news. The Saturn core for Mr. looks to be coming along really well. Another 2D game is up and running, and that game is Rayman, and it's looking really good. The 2D graphics are running smoothly along with its animations, with few graphical glitches. Sound does have its issues though, because it's really scratchy. But it's good news that more 2D games are working. There's also a 3D game that runs. Sega's Daytona USA is up and running and is also looking good. There are graphical glitches, but it's amazing that the game is running at all. Like Rayman, some sounds are scratchy, but some CD audio seems to be working just fine. Recently, there have been some great updates for Saturn and PlayStation fans who own a Mr. FPGA. There's still a lot of work to be done, but any progress is exciting to see. Let's hope future developments go really smoothly. There have been some other minor updates to Mr. and some of its cores. Support for some Nintendo Switch and Xbox Series S controllers was added. Also, there were bug fixes to some of the cores. And the Sega Master System core has added support for the Sega System E arcade board. The System E board was an arcade board that was based on the Sega Master System hardware, but with more powerful video capabilities. Because of the similarities between both machines, it allowed more accurate arcade ports to the Sega Master System. These similarities made it easier to add System E support to the Master System core. Are you a fan of Golden Axe and Doom? Then why not combine both? Doom modder BB Blaskowitz has created a Doom mod that lets you play Golden Axe on the Doom engine. It's currently in a pre-alpha state, so a lot of the planned features and content have not been implemented yet. The mod contains a Doom representation of the first level of the original Golden Axe game. You have some of the original enemies, and also some of the friendlies. There's even the boss battle at the end. While you're playing, you will be treated to the Genesis version of the Golden Axe soundtrack. One of the planned updates is to add magic. The original game has some really cool magic, so it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to be implemented in Doom. 27 years later, and you still have mods being created for Doom. Back in the day, some hotels used to offer you the ability to play Nintendo 64 games. Called the Gateway 64, it offered hotel guests Nintendo 64 games for a limited amount of time. One of the games offered was Zelda Ocarina of Time, and it has been done for you to try out. So why would you want to try this out if you've already played the game on your Nintendo 64? Well, the Gateway 64 version of the game is a bit different, since it was meant to be rented by the hour, so it was modified to cater towards that type of play. One of the modifications was the removal of saving, so they were going for more of an arcade experience rather than an RPG experience. Even with the modifications made, this is more of a curiosity than something you would want to spend a lot of time playing, since the original N64 version will give you a far superior experience. An old article I stumbled upon on FastCompany.com goes into the invention of the video game cartridge. Invented over 40 years ago by two people, the cartridge offered home game systems flexibility. Instead of having a limited set of games pre-programmed onto the system itself, you now could theoretically have an unlimited amount of games through the use of separate game cartridges. The article goes into many details of the creation of the cartridge and the system it was built for, the Fairchild for Channel F. When I was a lot younger, I naively thought that the Atari 2600 was the first game console, but there is a lot more history before it. It's amazing to think about the media we've used over the years for our game consoles. We've moved on from cartridges, to optical media, to digital distribution, and others in between. Will we miss having a physical item to represent our gaming purchases? Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Check out the article if you're interested in learning how cartridges were pioneered. So that's it for this episode. Please check the video description for links to the sources. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.